Hello everyone, it's your favorite generative AI YouTuber here and I wanted to bring to your attention a very important and serious matter. Have you heard about deepfakes and artificial intelligence generated media? Over the past year, the success of ChatGPT, Midjourney, Stable Diffusion has sparked concern about the potential for this technology to be used for malicious purposes. Well, the Chinese government has definitely taken notice and is taking action. The Cyberspace Administration of China recently issued new regulations that prohibit the creation of any AI-generated media, including deepfakes, unless they are clearly labeled. These regulations go into effect on January 10, 2023, and will require all AI-generated images to be watermarked to indicate that they are such. These rules are being put in place in order to keep up with the fast-paced advancements in deep synthesis technology and to set ethical boundaries for its use, as well as to protect national security, public interest, and prevent illegal activities. But what exactly is deep synthesis technology? It's a powerful tool that uses deep learning, virtual reality, and other synthesis algorithms to generate text, images, audio, video, and virtual scenes. And with great power comes great responsibility. These new regulations outline ethical boundaries for using generative AI and aim to protect national security, public interest, and prevent illegal activities. The Chinese government's new set of rules banning deepfakes and other synthetic media is a significant move as it demonstrates the government's willingness to take action against potentially harmful technology. However, it's important to note that these regulations are not solely about protecting individuals from deepfakes but rather about exerting control over the population by banning media created without the subject's permission and anything that goes against the national interest. In other words, the Chinese government is using these rules as a way to maintain control and censorship over their people. Over the years, several instances of celebrity deepfakes have garnered attention in the media. One example is a deepfake video of former U.S. President Barack Obama in which his face was manipulated to make it appear as if he were saying things that he had not actually said. Another example is a deepfake video of actor Tom Cruise in which his face was manipulated to make it appear as if he were singing a song from the musical Les Miserables. While celebrity deepfakes may be amusing or entertaining to some, the potential consequences of deepfakes featuring national leaders are much more serious. Deepfakes or synthetic media that can manipulate audio and video to make it appear as though someone said or did something they did not have the potential to pose a significant threat to the Chinese government. Suppose deepfakes featuring Chinese leaders become indistinguishable from real videos. In that case, they could be used to spread misinformation and propaganda, causing widespread confusion and possibly even inciting violence or destabilizing the government. For instance, a deepfake video of Xi Jinping making a controversial statement or committing a crime could be circulated and believed to be genuine, leading to public outrage, calls for impeachment or resignation, and even violent uprisings. Additionally, foreign governments could use deepfakes of Chinese leaders to interfere in Chinese politics by releasing a deepfake video of a leader making a damaging or inflammatory statement in order to influence public opinion or sway elections. Given the potential consequences of deepfakes on national leaders and governments, it is no wonder that Xi Jinping and the Chinese government are concerned about the potential threats posed by deepfakes. As an authoritative state, the Chinese government has a vested interest in maintaining control over the narrative and preserving stability, making deepfakes a potentially significant threat to their power and control. The Chinese government's ban on generative AI, including deepfakes, may potentially have negative consequences for the exercise of human rights. China has a long history of human rights violations, including harassment and intimidation of human rights lawyers and activists, unfair trials, arbitrary detention, torture, and other forms of ill treatment. The government has also been known to engage in political indoctrination and forced cultural assimilation of minority groups such as Muslims in Xinjiang and has separated thousands of Uyghur children from their parents. The national security law for Hong Kong has enabled human rights violations on an unprecedented scale since the establishment of the special administrative region. The recent ban on generative AI-created media is just one more example of China's disregard for human rights and freedom of expression. Generative AI, including deepfakes, can be used to create media that allows individuals to express themselves in new and creative ways. 
A ban on this technology could limit individuals' ability to communicate and share their ideas and perspectives. Additionally, the ban on media created without the subject's permission may also have implications for the right to privacy. While it is important to protect individuals' privacy and prevent the unauthorized use of their image or likeness, a blanket ban on all media created without permission could restrict the ability of individuals to share their own experiences and stories. Finally, the inclusion of a provision banning anything that goes against the national interest raises concern about the potential for censorship and the restriction of free speech. It is important for any government to balance the protection of national interests with the protection of human rights, including the right to freedom of expression. In conclusion, the Chinese government's new regulations prohibiting the creation of AI-generated media, including deepfakes, is a significant move that demonstrates the government's willingness to take action against potentially harmful technology. While these regulations are not solely about protecting individuals from deepfakes, they serve as a way for the government to maintain control and censorship over their people. As we look towards the future of artificial intelligence, it is important to consider the potential consequences of its use and development. For example, while China's recent decision to ban generative AI media may be well-intentioned, it also raises concerns about freedom of expression and the potential for censorship. Hopefully, the United States and other countries will approach the use and regulation of AI with caution and consideration for the potential impacts on society. It is vital to strike a balance between the benefits and potential risks of AI and to ensure that the development and use of AI align with our values and principles as a society. Ultimately, it will be up to us to stay informed about AI developments and engage in the conversation about how it should be used and regulated. Let's work together to ensure that we can use deep synthesis technology for the greater good and not as a tool for propaganda and misinformation. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more informative content.